So you're watching MTV and it's now one o'clock and this mean we've got the guest in here all about you. Thanks for coming in here today. Now, uh, I think your first hit was about in 85 with D for Desire. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no? <laughs> yes, it was a very small hit. Yeah. But since then, I think we could say that you've come a long way. Did you ever, did you expect at that time, you know, to come this far? <laughs> um, we were just talking about this the other day. Mm -hmm. No, we, I don't think we did. I think we saw up to um, getting a record deal and getting an album out. And now we've done that, I think it's a bit slightly flummoxed as to where we go from there. It's such a thing when you're, um, <coughs> excuse me, struggling around in independent land, you know you'd like to actually cross over and get onto a major label, but you don't somehow actually see the reality of doing that. So it's odd when it happened. But you didn't really expect it, so it's been sort of a surprise for you. I think we're as surprised as everybody else is. We seem like the band least likely to succeed because we were always out of fashion. So it was amazing that we suddenly captured the imagination of the <laughs> nation. <laughs> Talking of sort of being out of fashion, uh, now, very often in the press you've been related with the hippie period. How does, how, how does that make you feel? I mean, are you related with that? Um, not now. I think it was something we did flirt with for a while, especially when we, when we had a single out called Flowers in Our Hair. And it was at the time when all the nostalgia was going on about the original Summer of Love. Um, it was, what was it, last year? It was supposed yeah. to be 20 years after the first hippie happening. And um, because we had that song out, which was uh, a comment on it all, the, the British press seemed to think we wanted to start the movement happening again. Mm. So we were seen as the, the new hippies for quite a while, and it's something we played at, but um, I think we've left it behind a little now. Well, completely, I hope. Mm. So you don't want to actually to have anything to do with the hippie? No. <laughs> Period. And that's not where your musical inspiration comes from either, is it? Because, yeah, I mean, your music's not sort of, you know, related to that. It's only in the words, isn't it? Yeah, it was my fault. I, <laughs> I started singing about things that could be linked to the 60s. I mean, it was very flowery and very, um, you know, to, to do with nature and love and all that kind of thing. And it's something I did believe in very strongly at the time. But we've, we've had to move along, you know, it's something that you can't stand by forever. I didn't want to, to make it kind of a one-woman 60s revival. It's, it's not really what we wanted to do at all. And uh, when we brought the album out, I think it convinced people that we weren't just a bunch of ex-goth hippies or whatever because it was uh, so different. Mm -hmm. We're going to see one of your songs now and then we'll talk some more. <laughs> Sorry I had to interrupt you. Here it comes. <laughs> That was a wild-hearted woman there. It's one of your sort of more old song, previous mm -hmm. songs. Now, I mean, what what is your image like? I mean, do you what in what way do you find yourself different from other pop stars today? Because I've heard in the press that you don't want to be pop stars. Mm. Uh, we're different, as in the sense that I don't think we were like. Well, I didn't want to be, and I know Julianne didn't want to be in a band for the sake of being in a band and performing on stage. I think that's what sets us slightly apart from a lot of the other stuff that's around in England at the moment. That thing of just actually wanting to do music for music's sake, whereas so much of it's geared up to image mm. now. Um, it's difficult to not say that we're involved in it at all, because you do have to make some effort. But um, I don't like that side of it. I like the fact that we're a real band. and. Uh, it's the sort of band that I think, it's taken a long time to get where we are now, but I can hopefully see it going on and gradually drifting off, whereas bands that are around in the charts now, they're going to sort of, they'll arrive very quickly and they'll go very quickly. Yeah. And you see yourself staying there for a while. Yeah, I'd like to think so. <laughs> as, as, uh, as, is your image sort of very down to earth, you know, not glamorous, which is nice for a change. Uh, have the record company ever tried to sort of plays an image on you. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Should we tell? Uh, um, <laughs> they had a go, but um, they were acting out of our best interests. I think most bands do welcome that. They like to be guided. They, they like to be given loads of money and sent off to have a new hairdo and a new outfit. And we tried it, but we, it didn't 
it wasn't comfortable to us, you know, and I think we've got where we are through being the mess that we are. Mm. You know, it's, um, we're not very good at being clothes horses or anything. So we tried it, but it wasn't right for us. Mm. And uh, the record company won't be trying it again. <laughs> like, you, your life must also have changed a little bit since, you know, from being a band that was sort of unknown to sort of becoming one of the most popular bands in the UK. Have you, has the lifestyle for you changed a lot? Um, yeah, it has. But I'm desperately trying to hang on to what things were like before. I mean, um, it's been a funny year because um, before we were signed, um, we were just all um, unemployed and we were doing the music at our own pace. I mean, this went on for years. And then we all walked into, like, the record business with a bit of a, like, a dole attitude towards um, just the th way that's all we knew. That's the, we just knew getting up, going out to Julianne's, writing some songs, going and signing on, collecting your gyro, <laughs> and to walk into a big machine like the mm -hmm. record business with that attitude is um, a bit dangerous. Mm. But also, has it reflected that you know not only in the musical sense that it's changed your lifestyle, but also in the way that you actually live your life? You know, do you, do, we were talking about limousines before. I mean, do you travel around in big cars and live in a nicer flat now, or or in a big house? I mean, is and that sort of life changed for you? Um, I think a lot of people think that once you're a chart band, you, you're suddenly rich and you're going to parties and you you've got a mansion. It's not really the case. I mean, personally, I'm homeless, and after I've finished speaking to you, I'm going to be looking for somewhere to live this afternoon. Um, it's, it hasn't changed at all for me. Mm. I still live in moderate places. Now and again, you get a treat, like, you know, if, if you're doing a big TV show, they'll mm. send a nice car around. But um, I don't think it's changed dramatically. Mm. It's just I feel busier. Mm. A lot busier. We have to see another video here coming up. It's like also one of your videos. You know, the way that things have changed in your life. Also somewhere I heard that you received some really weird fan mail. <laughs> People, you know, uh, threatening to kill themselves if they don't get any answers. Has that, does it worry you that you can influence teenagers so much by being a popular band? It doesn't. We get a mixture. We do get that side, but we also get some really lovely letters. And if you're feeling down, they can actually cheer you up and, and spur you on. Mm. But um, it's not terribly serious at the moment. Um, we've got a really loyal bunch of people who are into us. But it, um, I always like to reply. I mean, it's, it's odd. It, it's odd because you're in a band and you don't really have the answers to all the questions in the world, no more than anybody else does, but sometimes you're expected to. Mm -hmm. mm. This is, this is your, your LP. I understand you're, you're writing on a new LP already, aren't you? Yeah. What's that going to be like? Uh, I wish I knew. <laughs> I don't know what it's going to be like. Uh, it's too early to say yet, um, just because we haven't got all the material mm. that's going to go on it. But are you writing it in a different way? That I mean, I understand that you do all the writing, don't you? Oh, no, no, no. No? It's very democratic. Uh, I, I do the words, oh, yeah. but um, the music, we all join in together. But are there any particular ways that it's going to be different from that LP? Um, I think we all know a little bit more now about what you can actually do in the studio. I mean, we walked into that album with just uh, like a fistful of songs that we'd wrote in a bedroom mm. and learnt about uh, just the techniques of recording while we were doing it. So this time we all know a little bit more. So it might sound uh, from a production level. Mm. Talking of production, mm. I, got, I got to ask you about the mission. Now they, they produced one of the songs and you've also been on tour with them and mm. stuff. I mean, <laughs> what, what, what's their role in, in All About You? It's definitely something that is of the past. Um, they produced one of our independent singles mm. and um, we toured with them, but it got to the point where neither of these bands were doing each, the other band a favour by staying together because we were, we were being seen as the same except with a female singer. Mm. So through necessity we had to um, separate very dramatically uh, from what each you're other. Laughing at. <laughs> That's not so funny. <laughs> <laughs> no, about the, uh, the mission thing. <laughs> 
It's just, it's like one of the <laughs> questions. It's like, yeah, I know, but that's why I said I, I, know. Have, I have to ask about it because I know there's a lot of people wondering. So they're not going to be involved in the next project. That's out of the way now. No more mission together with All About You. No more mission. <laughs> no more mission. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're going to see an M&M's MTV gig guide here. Thank you for coming <laughs> in here today. <laughs>